guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back in my office today, kind of switching it up a little bit. Um, it's rainy outside and I don't have a lot of good natural light, so I'm in here with some of my uh, fluorescents and that in my office. So I have a Transcend box. It just came in the mail today. It's a big one. I have not peeked, which is really, really hard for me because I love to peek at my boxes. I, I'm not good with surprises, so I typically do peek, but I'm really excited, so let's get into it. Okay, so I did cut it open. Well, at least I thought I cut it open. Apparently, I did not cut it open. Hold on, let me grab scissors. So, all right, I'm going to mute my phone. Okay, so. Here we have our Transcend. So if you guys are not familiar with Transcend, um, it is a subscription service just like, just like Stitch Fix, but there's a little bit of a difference. So with Transcend, you do not have a monthly styling fee. So you can order Transcends and they send them to you. There's no charge, there's no styling fee, and they send you three complete outfits. Um, they put those outfits together in bundles and then you try everything on, keep what you like, send back what you don't. The one thing that I don't like about Trendsend that I like about Stitch Fix is that with Trendsend, um, there's no discount for like buying multiple items. So with Stitch Fix, if you do a five for five or you buy all five items, you get a 25% discount. You do not get a discount with Trendsend. Um, the price is what it is. So that I don't really like. Um, and I find that Trendsend, they send me kind of pricier pieces. Even though you do get to pick your price point, I feel like sometimes their pieces are a little expensive. So um, this is kind of what the box looks like. So you get um, three bundles. So I'm just gonna pick a bundle out of here. Um, just like with Stitch Fix, they send you a bag to send all of your um, unwanted things back in. And they typically have, yeah, here it is. So they have a little card in here. And if you open up this card, they usually have a note and then they have your price list. So I will go over prices and everything um, with you guys. Probably not gonna have time to do a trial on right now um, because I've got to get my little guy to basketball. But um, I will do a trial on maybe tomorrow and have this posted for Wednesday. So, all right, my note says, Happy Transcend Day. I chose several mix and match wear to work pieces that can transition well into your weekend activities. We value your feedback, so try it all on and let us know what you think. So, not a very detailed note. One thing, again, with Transcend is like with Stitch Fix, you have the same stylist a lot. With Transcend, I feel like I get a different stylist quite often. So, the first outfit, let's see. I'm just going to try to find Peyton Jensen hoodie. Okay. So outfit one is for a comfortable, and this is what the note says, for a comfortable work outfit, I styled these two tops with the most comfortable pair of dress pants you'll ever wear. The Hewitt Knot Tee is a classic basic piece that can be worn with any pant or skirt you may have. The polka dot ruffle tee is feminine and a great choice for work. So that sounds kind of cute. I don't have a lot of polka dots. So this is the first, oh my gosh, this is so stinking soft. Oh my gosh, and it's a knot. It's like a knot. Um, oh, why? Why do I have to love it? So this is the Peyton Jensen Hewitt Knot Tee. And that one is $58. So I will say that it's very, very soft. Um, but $58 is kind of a lot for a knot tee, in my opinion. I don't know. We'll try it on. I'm not going to say no to anything until after I try everything on. So there's that. She also put um, in the same bundle, oh now this is cute. This is like a polka dot um, top. It's got the bell sleeve. That's really cute. And I don't have anything with a bell sleeve right now. So this is the um, Sunday in Brooklyn polka dot ruffle top in a size small. And it is $68. So that's, again, it's a little much, but those are both super cute work tops that I could wear to work. 
really cute, really cute. And I have a business trip coming up um, in February, so. Okay, and these, oh my gosh, these pants are adorable. Okay, oh, and they're level 99, which means they're gonna be expensive. So these are the level 99 Lacy Straight Ankle Pants, and they are, I'm afraid to look, guys, I'm afraid to look. High rise palm lane hoodie. They're not on here. That's interesting. Okay, the pants aren't. Oh, yeah, here they are. The lacy straight ankle pant in redwood. $125. So, I don't know about that, but those sure are cute. And they are so soft. And they have a little bit of like a zipper detail right here. But $125, guys, Ooh, mama, I mean, that's pretty pricey. But I will try them on. I will try them on. And again, thing about Trenson, you're not obligated to buy anything. Okay, bundle number two. Okay, this is the, oh, cute. Okay, what is this? This is an Alice and Joy, so outfit two. I chose these free people leggings for you because you liked the legging before but didn't want olive. I think you'll find the jean legging very versatile. This wrap sweater paired with the cami looks great with jeans but can pair with your level 99 pants from outfit one. Okay, so with the, the red pants. So they sent me these leggings in my last transcend and they sent them in olive and I already had a pair of olive um, leggings from Loft that I had just bought and they were the exact same color. So I'm like, I did not need those but they were so comfortable. So this is what they look like. Kind of got some pleats in the front. They're kind of high-waisted and they have amazing tummy control. Okay, and those are $58 for those leggings. I do have a lot of jeans though. I will say I do have a lot of jeans right now and I don't know that I will keep any jeans, but we'll see. Okay, and this is a cami. This is the Beloved Classic Cami, and this is $28, and it's in like a um, olive color, really cute, and it is super soft, I'll have to say, and she paired it with this cardigan, it's the Alice and Joy Angela Wrap Sweater, and this is $88. Okay, so I like this, but I about these sleeves um I mean they're cute but I don't know I feel like that may look funky I don't know we'll see we'll try it on with the olive um with the olive cami and we'll see what that looks like okay and the last bundle oh I'm loving that color um so one of my favorite colors on earth is like that um, kind of burnt, like a mauve color. Love that color. So this is the outfit three. This is this is not your average hoodie. The slight ruffle detail gives it a bit of feminine touch while keeping that casual weekend feel. I know you tried the Heather high rise jean before, but the sizing was wrong. So I'm sending you a size down. I think you'll love them. Again, they sent me a pair of jeans. Really, really liked them, but they were just a little too. Um, loose and I felt like they're one of those jeans that they fit perfect so if they stretched out even the least little bit they were going to be too big so this is the articles of society and they sent me and this tag says super soft and heck yes they are super soft like they are amazing like almost like one of those jeans you would just live in okay and these are a size 26. So they sent me a size 27 before. I don't know if you can see this, but these are like super stretchy, like spandex stretchy. That's why I was afraid they were going to um, not work at all. So these are $64. That's not a bad price for a pair of blue jeans. That's not bad if they're good quality blue jeans. Okay, guys, this hoodie. Oh, in to the G. I am a sucker for hoodies, and this is stinking cute. Look at this hoodie. Oh, and look at the ruffles on the sleeve. Shut up. This is so cute. Okay, this hoodie is $68. Oh, so, okay, $68. It's super, super soft, and it is the brand, 
Peyton Jensen. Okay, so a couple of things in here are Peyton Jensen. I've got several of the Allison Joy, um, which I like. I don't have any articles of society, I don't think, anything from them. But this hoodie is like, oh my gosh, this is just the cutest thing ever. And it's so soft. Love this color. Love this color. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get my little guy ready for basketball. And then um, I will try all of these things on and um, put them at the end of the video. Or maybe I'll try to insert them. I don't know. One way or another, you'll see the try on. And then um, tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you think it's worth the prices of all of these things. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm really trying this year to not buy repeat things that are in my closet, right? So I'm trying to buy things that I know I'm going to wear a lot and get a lot of wear out of. Like this is that little Stitch Fix sweater that I bought on my last Stitch Fix. And in the past two weeks, this is probably the fourth time I've worn it. I love it. I wear it. I wash it and then I wear it again in the next couple days. So I'm trying to really buy things that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of and get my money out of. I don't mind paying for good quality clothes and for things that I'm going to wear and that are going to wash well. Um, and I have found that with Transcend, um, all of their stuff is really good quality. I haven't had any issues with anything. Same way with Stitch Fix. So let me know what you think, guys. And um, I will be right back with the trial on and see what we think. Okay, guys. So this is that um, hoodie that they sent. This is the Peyton Jensen um, hoodie. It's got the ruffle sleeves. It's very, very comfortable. It fits very good. Um, these are the Articles of Society. These are the high-waisted um, jeans, and these fit perfect. Like, they fit so much better than the other, the 27s. Um, I feel like um, that, I mean, they fit, but even if they stretched out a little bit, I would be okay. Um, so, yeah, the length is perfect. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I really, really like it, but do I like it? For the price um i don't have anything with like the ruffle detail so i'm not really sure on the sweatshirt you guys let me know let me know what you think so all right back with outfit two in a sec okay guys this is the second outfit that she sent i do not like the shirt these sleeves would really get on my nerves and i don't know i just feel like it's not very flattering like around here and this is the, definitely a no for me. Um, the sleeves are just weird. I think that's the biggest thing. I think if it was a normal cardigan, but I don't think it does anything for me. Um, I have, I'm very short-waisted. Um, but it is like a sweater, so you put it on and then it just kind of wraps around. So, again, not my favorite. Um, these jeans, uh, these are the high-waisted um, leggings, the Free People. And I think I like the other jeans better. If I was going to buy a pair, I think I would definitely do the other ones. They're just a little softer and a little more comfortable. So, okay, back in a sec. Okay, guys, so I really like this one. This is that little polka dot top with the bell sleeves. I love, love this top. So comfortable, so cute. Um, if you can see kind of close up, it's got like little white polka dots. I think with like a really pretty silver necklace, um, some cute earrings. And in my note, my stylist said that these were the most comfortable dress pants on planet Earth. And she's correct. Um, they are amazing. Oh my goodness. They fit so good. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but... The bottom is kind of cuffed right here, and they're like ankle lengths. Um, so you could wear like, I would wear like flats, like some flat dress shoes or something with them. Maybe some pointy toe dress shoes or something. Um, but you could even put on some heels, like black heels. Or Okay, guys, here's the cream top with the um, redwood pants. I love it. I love this top. I think it's so cute, and it's so soft. I love the knotted... Um, I just think they're very flattering. I have a couple short sleeve um, knotted tops like this that I wear in the summertime and the spring, and I, I love them. I wear them all the time. I have a white one and a navy one and an olive colored one. Um, and I wear them, they look really cute with shorts and, and everything. So, what do you guys think? 
oh, I don't know. I'm so torn. Um, I think there are some things in the box that are definitely no's. Um, but let me take this off, put my clothes back on, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, okay, so now I'm back with a recap of my transcend. So by now you've seen me try everything on and talk about presses and all that. So these are the things that I'm kind of on the fence about and then the things that I'm like, no, definitely not. So I definitely know that I do not want the outfit number two, which was um, this one. the um, classic cami and this I mean this was a cute cami but I can get these um, there's a boutique here in town that sells these all day long for ten dollars and this one's 28 so I definitely won't pay 28 dollars for that because I know I can get the exact same cami um, for ten bucks um, this little sweater which is weird um, I didn't like the sleeves at all they it just fit weird it didn't flatter my body type at all so I definitely won't be getting that. And then I also don't think I'm going to be getting these um, free people, what were they called? The leggings, the high-rise pulling leggings. I'm not going to get these either. Um, I mean, they're cute, but I just bought those Liverpool um, skinny jeans from Stitch Fix that I absolutely love. I have worn them already several times. Um, so, And they're very similar. They're kind of a pull-on um legging type and so i'm um, that whole outfit is definitely a no for me um this i'm a little on the fence about so these jeans again the same thing i really like them but i don't think that they're anything special that for 64 dollars, i just don't really need another pair of this type of jeans um I, I already have some so i i don't think these are gonna be and they fit really well and i do like them and they are very very soft but i just don't think i need another pair of jeans right now um i'm a little bit torn about this hoodie you guys tell me what you think um this is the um this is the peyton jensen um ruffle hoodie it's 68 dollars so what do you guys think? Do you think this is worth $68? Um, it's very soft. It's very comfortable. I don't really have anything in my closet like it. Um, I don't have anything, a whole lot that color, and I do like the color, but I just don't know if it's worth $68. So help me out, tell me what you think. Um, then this next outfit, I really, really am on the fence about. So this little polka dot top is Stinking adorable and it fits really good and I really like it. Um, so this one just to kind of recap was uh, Polka dot ruffle top $68. Is it worth $68? What do you guys think? Do you think I could find something very similar for less money? Um, I don't know. Okay, and then um, This little cream top I love this is probably my favorite thing out of the whole box. So I really like this. Um, it is uh, Peyton Jensen. Again, it's $58. So super cute. And then I really love these level 99. The more I walked around in these, um, the more I'm kind of thinking I might need a size down in these. These are 27. Um, I'm wondering if I might could ask them. I've never exchanged or tried to do a different size on Trendsend. I know you can on Stitch Fix sometimes, but I've never tried to do that on Trendsend. So I may try to see if I can get a size down, but still, these are $125. I just, oh, but they are so soft and I don't have any pants this color in my closet. Um, what do you guys think? I don't know. Tell me what you think. I mean, they are really, really comfortable. Um, I think I would probably get, get wear out of them. Um, they seem really well made. The fabric is like amazing. So anyway, those are the things that I'm kind of on the fence about and the things that I'm definitely saying no to. So no jeans, no sweater, no cami. These things are kind of on the fence. I have three days to decide. 
leave a comment down below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't, what you think's worth it, what's not worth it. Um, I do have a stitch fix coming in February as well. So I always think about that. I'm like, do I want to spend this much money or do I want to wait on my stitch fix? Or, I mean, I know it doesn't really matter if you like it, you like it, but I always think about that. So let me know what you think. Leave me a comment down below, like this video, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.